team investigation after police say they may have stopped a man bent on a shooting spree. Officers caught a man from Cambridge buying ammunition at a gun show. Tonight, the I-team's Christina Hager looks into what some call a major loophole that might allow weapons and their parts to fall into the wrong hands. Elizabeth Warren, um, Nancy Pelosi, he did mention Barack Obama. Some of the people Brian Schwarzstrauber's roommate says he planned to kill before police stopped the Cambridge man, they say stocking up on ammunition at a Wilmington gun show without a Massachusetts gun license. I overheard a three hour long conversation detailing uh, and finalizing uh, just how he was going to kill these people. It has the Middlesex District Attorney now working on a legislative proposal to close a gun show loophole. At these gun shows, vendors are not required to perform a background check that is required if you buy a firearm elsewhere in Massachusetts. The reason? Under federal law, some of those vendors are considered private sellers. And unlike the licensed dealers at gun shops, private sellers are not required to do background checks. Ryan is also looking into the same so-called loophole that applies to online sites like Arms List. There's a Glock. Where private gun owners can sell their wares without background checks. This gun would not be able to be sold in Massachusetts. The I-team sat down with Methuen Police like Chief Joseph sales. Solomon. As he checked up on sellers, he never got as far as a sale without a background check, but the potential concerned him. It's so much better if they actually process the sale through a dealer so that the background checks are done, the registration paperwork's done. Boston Police Officer Kurt Stokinger is suing Arms List for allegedly allowing the sale of a gun that ended up in the hands of a felon accused of using it to shoot the officer in the leg. Boston Police Commissioner William Gross. There should be some accountability in the reporting process of who's making the purchases and where the firearms are going. It's not like we're trying to be Big Brother George Orwell or anything, but we want accountability. We checked with Cambridge Police. They say Brian Schwarzstrauber never even applied for a firearms license with their department. The I-team obtained records showing how many people did apply for gun licenses in Massachusetts over the last year and how many were granted. If you want to check your town, head over to CBSBoston.com. We've got the breakdown right there, Lisa. Great work, Christina. Thank you. Now, have you seen something that the I-team should be looking into? Send us an email at iteam at cbsboston.com. You can also call us at 617-779-TIPS. Liam? Lawrence.